Using a horse logger to harvest trees is expensive and slow. But there are young beech trees growing here. So the foresters have decided against using heavy machinery to avoid having to cut clearing in the woods. Imagine a forest in which every 20 meters there's a path four meters wide. It's impossible, especially here where the beech trees are 50 years old and were planted among pines. Now the pine trees are slowly being cleared and have to be harvested in a way that doesn't harm the beech trees. You can only do that with horses. This forest belongs to the state of Brandenburg. The beech trees here can be felled a century from now. Today, a single beech can fetch up to 500 euros. Not far afield is a beech forest, one of the oldest test forests in Germany. 130 years ago, beech trees were first planted here among the pine trees. To understand how trees grow takes time. You have to measure long periods. And that's what happened here. From 1879 to 2009 is a long time for us as people, but it's just one generation for trees. It's one in which a fundamental change occurred, from a pure pine forest to a hardwood one. This method is now being employed elsewhere in Germany, since mixed forests are more robust than ones with just pine. Meanwhile, the foresters' research continues to prepare for the effects of climate change. That's why we've been experimenting with various varieties of trees for some time, even with non-native varieties from North America, Asia and Southern Europe. We hope to have a few kinds of trees which will be suited to the new climate. Detlef Zemlin also likes to experiment, and he too earns his living from the forest. Eight years ago, he first held a piece of heat-treated wood in his hands. He took it home and washed it in the dishwasher for three weeks straight. The wood stood up. Now Detlef Zemlin produces thermo wood himself. Using this machine, he stacks domestically produced pine that's waiting to be treated in a special oven. After three days, it's as weatherproof as tropical wood. Zemlin's speciality, weatherized logs for gardens. Detlef Zemlin spent years looking for investors. Now that his factory is finally in operation, he can barely meet the demand for his heat-treated wood. And his customers can buy it with a clear conscience, knowing that the wood comes exclusively from sustainable forests in Europe. It's a real alternative to tropical wood. When it comes to wood, there's more innovation possible than before. In other sectors, like engineering, innovations happen all the time. With wood, there hasn't been very much, but that will certainly come. Frauke Vetrau Delan is also profiting from her client's growing interest in the environment. Her huge wood chopper turns twigs and branches into wood chips. They're then burned for fuel. Germany provides financial support for this kind of renewable energy. Frauke Vetrau Delan used to work in agriculture, but then found she could make more money processing wood. The market has been booming in the last two years. It certainly makes sense to use such renewable resources to create electricity or heat. Otherwise, the wood would just lie in the forest and rot. And that would be a waste of readily available resources. Several times a day, the driver brings a truckload to a biomass power plant just outside of Berlin. Every delivery like this brings in around 1,000 euros. The little power station has a big appetite and consumes six to seven truckloads per day. The demand for wood is growing, so Eberhard Luft and his colleagues have their work cut out for them to protect German forests.
They must ensure that the basic principles of sustainable forestry are followed, that only as much wood is harvested each year as the forest can grow back.